Alright folks, in this video you're going to be learning how to draw Lewis dot structures using an EN chart. We'll also cover molecular geometry, orbital geometry, hybridization, and axis notation. Let's get started. You're going to need two handouts. One of a periodic table, which you see here. The other is this handout. This handout is a molecular geometry handout that you will need. It is in Unit 3, Handout 6A on my website. So please make sure you have this before you get started. So let's get started. The first one that we're going to draw is methane. Okay, it's the easiest one of all to draw. But I'm starting with it, which is CH4. I'm starting with it because it is simple and it will help you to understand how to draw the charts. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the chart, where I'm getting the numbers from. In the other videos, I'll go a little bit faster. This is going to be a, a basically a grid sheet. Okay, just like this. Now, this is for the elements individually. Okay. A stands for uh, valence electrons. Basically, uh, available electrons. Okay, that's what the A is. And the N is the needed. You know, the, the need electrons, what you need. Okay, that's in. Now, as far as what special rules you need to know about the need is you're either going to use the numbers 2 or 8. This is the way it was explained to me while I was in college, and I still explain it that way to my students. Now, uh, as far as the need, it once again is weird about the 2 or the 8. Basically, it's this. The rule that I'm about to explain to you for this chart only works for the chart. It doesn't work if you're trying to draw them uh, just by looking at it and doing the octet rule by hand. Okay, This rule will only apply to the chart if you're trying to use the chart. Now, here's this is how simple it is. If it's one of the very first five elements, it will need two. That's hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, and then finally, boron. Okay, basically if you look on your periodic table, these first five elements, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, and boron, will always need two. Anything past that, go ahead and assume that it will need eight. Now, I know some of you chemistry professors out there will be yelling up and down, but trust me, this concept always works for this Ian chart. Okay, now basically... Now, your chemistry teacher don't want to tell you this because it's so much easier using the N chart. You get really fast at it later on, too. All right, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to make a grocery list. When we're looking at methane, we've got only one carbon, so we write carbon only one time. Here we've got hydrogen four times, so I'm going to write H, 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 and then finally H. Okay? Now, we need to know how many valence electrons does carbon have. Well, carbon is in column 14. It needs four valence electrons. Hydrogen is in column number one, right here. It needs one. It has one valence electron. Okay, there's those numbers. Now we have the need amount. Carbon is not one of these five elements, so it will need eight. Hydrogen is one of those five elements, so it will need two. After this, you're going to add these up. Okay. Total available, we have four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight, so A is equal to eight. The need amount, we've got two, four, six, eight. We got eight plus eight, which is sixteen. So that need amount is 16. Now the next calculation that we're going to do is S. S will represent the number shared. S is obtained by taking the N and subtracting A. So basically S equals 16 minus 8, which is 8. Now that's the number of shared. This is shared electrons. So basically you want to make a little note over here so you can keep track of what this is. S represents the shared electrons. Okay. Now, the next thing that we need to calculate is bonds. Okay, to calculate the number of bonds, bonds will equal the S 
divided by 2. So basically we have bonds equals 8 divided by 2, which is what? That's right. You guessed it. 4. So that means that we've got 4 bonds. So B means bonds. Now, when you calculate bonds, that just means the number of straight lines that you draw. Okay. Now, we're almost done. This is the most important one that we get. And we got one more important number that we must get before we can draw. The next calculation is NBE. NBE refers to non-bonding electrons. Okay. To get that calculation, I'm sorry I'm filling up so much room, NBE equals, okay, the number of non-bonding electrons equals A minus S, which in this case, NBE equals A minus S is what? Well, 8 minus 8 is 0. So that's 0. So basically, when we get ready to draw this, okay, need to get another sheet of paper. I'm going to draw this like this. Okay, and we'll take these two things, non-bonding electrons and the number of bonds, and draw this. Notice that you only have one carbon in methane. So since you only have one of it, it's it's very in you know small amount. Carbon is going to be your central atom. So we're going to put it in the middle C. Now carbon has four substituents. So that's four things around it. Now the easiest way to start getting used to drawing these is putting things to the to the left, to the right, up, and then down. You can be picky later about when you draw them, but for now we're just going to go left, right, up, and down. Okay, we got four things. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Now here's the thing. I have to make sure that all of these get attached. So I have to draw four bonds. One, two, three, four. I've used all four of my bonds. Now, non-bonding electrons, those are dots. Here's a simple rule. Never put dots on hydrogen. Okay? So since you're not allowed to put dots on hydrogen, you won't be putting any of them at all. And since you don't have any dots to put, you don't put dots anywhere. Okay? So that's all you got to do is take care of the dots. That's it. That's the last step. So, since we don't have any, then we're done. Now we need to answer the questions as far as what is the uh, molecular geometry. That's when we use this sheet here. To answer the molecular geometry, we need to look at the sheet that I've supplied to you on the website. Now you've got four bonds and you have no lone pairs. So we're looking for a four zero combination. Four zero occurs right here. Notice that the molecular geometry is tetrahedral. So molecular geometry equals tetrahedral. Okay. The orbital geometry, notice that it is tetrahedral. Okay. Um, notice that we need to next get the polarity, if it's polar or nonpolar. Uh, notice here that it is shade in a light gray. That means it's nonpolar. So this one is nonpolar. Okay. Also, the next thing we need to get is the hybridization. Notice that right here it's sp3. Okay. And the last thing that we need to write is the axe notation. Notice that the axe notation underneath tetrahedral is AX4. Now, let me explain this to you real quick. The easiest way to get hybridization is basically start counting S, then P1, P2, and P3. Okay, now you just do that by the types of bonds. Axe notation, uh, since there are four bonds, that's why that's four, since you've got four things attached. If you had any lone pairs, you'd have an E with a number, but notice that we do not have any long pairs. Alright guys.